Episode 2 guys, Culture Kachika here. Episode 2 of analyzing, breaking down, reviewing some of the best moves in boxing. Today we have... What we got. Yeah, we got David Lemieux. He was a champ. He had a belt at one point, um, but he lost that belt, I believe, to Triple G. Uh, but again, when we're doing this show, the idea behind it is uh, it's not so much about the fighter, even though we're giving him props. Um, and again, the, their opponents, whether they win or lose the fight, um, we give respect to both fighters for being in there and doing what they do. So uh, the whole the whole premise behind this is not to. You know, if a fighter gets stopped or knocked out, that can happen to any boxer at any given time. And see, pro fighters, amateur boxers, you guys understand this, coaches understand it, but sometimes the casual boxing fan may not understand that. So when we're reviewing uh, these, these techniques that stand out to us, it's not to, to belittle the guy who's on the other end of it that, you know, maybe gets caught with a shot. It's mm -hmm. reviewing the technique itself yeah. and the beauty of the technique and how it's executed. So with that said, what we're talking about here is uh, David Lemieux. But what we're going to go over today is his signature shot. And that signature signature shot is... The left hook. Left hook. Arguably. Arguably. One Ar of the best knockout punches in boxing. In boxing. Say, yeah. You know? Yeah, definitely one of the more dangerous shots in boxing. Um, when I think of, you know, guys who threw vicious left, hook, left hooks outside of Mike Tyson, obviously, I think of guys like uh, Iran Barkley from New York, Iron Barkley had a vicious left hook, vicious left hook. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya in his heyday, vicious left hook. Even Fernando Vargas, uh, ferocious Fernando, uh, another guy with a vicious left hook. And then one of my all time favorites has to be Irish Mickey Ward. Irish Mickey Ward, he just knew how to hit that left hook to the body, that sweet spot. So whether it's a hook to the body or a hook to the head, left hook is definitely one of the more dangerous shots in boxing. But what we want to show you tonight is David Lemieux. David Lemieux has a, it's a unique way of throwing the left hook. It's not your like traditional Typical left hook or lunging left hook. It's similar. It looks like it, but right. there's a lot that goes on, I think. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. -wise. So we're going to show you this fight. Uh, this is what, actually we have a couple fights here. We're just going to go through his, his more recent fight with against uh, Gary Spike O'Sullivan. So like I said, this is not to uh, belittle the guy on the other end of the shot. This is showing the technique. Something like it's not to belittle like the fighter, especially with like shots like this you guys will see it you know, you know on the big screen but this is like a punch that can just change the fight you could be doing everything right you get caught with excellent it point. and excellent it just point. happens it happens to anybody so that's it and on any given night um so what we're going to do is go through this we're going to show you the fight only it was a one round or we got caught early uh but we're going to show it okay. in regular speed let regular you see it play. this is the first round of the fight guys gary spike o'sullivan against um david lemieux so you can see Lemieux's throwing some combinations on the inside. Uh, Spike gets caught right there. Um, play that back again. It's a typical, yeah, 20 seconds is good. Typical first round. Both guys are kind of feeling each other out. Lemieux's, coming, you know, he, he's, he's boxing a little. Uh, Gary's using a good, good stiff jab on him. Um, there he is again landing a jab. He actually knocks Lemieux back with a nice, really strong jab because uh, uh, O'Sullivan has punching power too. Um, so, you know, the Mew again, old school style, the black boots, the black trunks. He's just coming forward with the high guard. He wants to land a big shot. Yeah, he's walking down. Now, here's, here's the thing. The move he does is he sets for that, I call it a, a pulling hook. There it is. Now, we're going to show you this in slow motion. Now, that was really fast. They're going to play it again. Um, but what he does in this, what he does is that's unique. Uh, in this particular sequence is that Sp Gary Gary's landing that jab. Uh, Spike's hitting him with a good jab, good strong jab, and like I said, Spike's heavy-handed. You can move it to the slow-mo part. Um, he's, he's got punching power in both hands. So when he hits him with that good jab, it kind of knocked him back. He resets, he comes in, he throws a couple jabs himself. He shows the high guard um, to Spike, and every time he brings the high guard up, Spike's shooting a jab at him. So what he does is, when Spike shoots the jab, here we go in slow-mo, we'll stop it and go. As soon as he shoots the jab, stop it. Now watch, high guard, stop, right there. Now, you see, as Lemieux comes up, Lemieux gives him the high guard. When he does that, he sees that Spike right away, like most boxers, when a guy puts the earmuffs on, you're going to punch. Okay, so that's what he does. As soon as he puts on the earmuffs, he shoots the jab. Now, look at Lemieux's face. Yeah, you're, you're going to say, yeah, he got hit with the jab, but... If you, if you, we're going to show you in another clip. Well, yeah, we'll show you a different angle. But what he's doing is, as the jab hits him, he's turning his face with the shot. 
And what you don't see, and you're gonna see it in a few seconds here, boom, the hook comes right off of that. So what he's doing is he actually, what we call, he gets elastic tension in his chest and shoulder um, because he turns, he lets the elbow pretty much lock right on your lat. Okay, and we've talked about this in other videos. Uh, Joe Lewis was, was infamous for, for throwing the punch with his right side or his left using what we call elastic tension. So he, he steps forward, the lead foot on the ball of the foot. All right, we're gonna play this a couple times so you can see it. Okay, now I want you to watch his body. We're gonna stop it as soon as the jab shoot. High guard jab comes, boom. Now you see where he's at. He turns his face and the, the, the hook is already in motion because he's setting this up. He knows what he wants to do. The front foot is planted. He's twisting on the ball of the front foot, his hip, his waist. He's getting what we would call it elastic tension. He's twisting from the hips. He's coming here. Now, this shot is completely out of Spike's view. And Spike's in a great position. I mean, his hand's a little bit below his chin, but most guys get away with that, and that's fine. But what he doesn't see is, like most fighters, he's blinking here. He's not closing his eyes. When he opens his eyes, he's following the fighter's face. That's what boxers do. You follow the head. So as he turns, he turns, he, he sees, oh, I land the jab, and he's, bring, he's coming with that right hand. What he doesn't see is this. Stop it as it lands. So you see it right there. Stop. Now you see right here, he's cranking to do the same thing. He's about to let that right hand go, and the hook comes out of nowhere. He doesn't see that shot coming. Why? Because Lemieux has squatted his, his upper body. He's bent it. He's turned his face, so he's taking some of the heat off of the jab. His hips and his arm is locked at his lat, elastic tension. And then that hook comes, and as soon as it lands, everything's on it. Here it is. Boom, the right hand comes, he stays there because he knows the right hand's coming and it just whizzes right by his face on that shot. Okay, now, Spike didn't do anything wrong there. Like, like Chica was saying earlier, you could be doing everything right in the fight and just get caught with a, with a good shot. Again, at, when these guys are fighting at this level, these guys are world-class fighters, they're at the top of their game. One little mistake, like him, exactly. Here's a different angle, but stop and go. Right there, stop. Now you see, Spike's in a beautiful position. In fact, his jab is covering his chin exactly the way it's supposed to. So the right hand can't, in case he's gonna pull and come back with the right hand. Exactly, so he's ready for that and he's bringing that right hand. So again, the only only little critique, and it's not even a critique, his right hand was down a little bit on that side, but it really wouldn't have mattered because he was, ex he was in full extension with his jab. So, you know, we call like guys, it's like a bow and arrow. So he's in full extension because he knows next thing he's throwing is the right hand. So here it comes. Boom, the hook hits him and watch, he's still in motion to throw the right hand, let it go. He was bringing that right hand as he was going down. The mute just, boom, he sees that he landed it and it's clean. Watch it again. Stop it. Stop right there. He, he brings the high guard. He, he knows the jab is coming, so he's already setting to throw the left hook. And his front leg, you see his, his knee is a little bent. He's stepping forward. And what we call it is a, is a step, almost like you're stepping on the bug. So he's stepping, and he's, he, all the torque is coming from his hips up to his body, upper body, his torso. And as he bends just a little bit, he turns his face so that the jab doesn't hit him clean. Here it comes. Turns, and look where his arm is at, guys. Spike can't see that, and the reason he can, again, he is not closing his eyes here. He's just blinking, all right? So he, he, the shot hits him. He never sees it because he's lined up on Lemieux's face. He's thinking, damn, I hit him with a good jab, and now he doesn't feel that Lemieux has taken some of the heat off of the jab, and the hook is just spinning right around like a, like a spinning top, and he just waits. All right, let's see if they show it again from it where you can see more of the Muse legs. Will they show it one more time? That's it. It's like That's it. Obviously, respect from these guys because they, they know what this is. You know what I mean? These are world-class fighters and much respect to both of them. But I want to show you guys something. Go to the um, uh, Guerrero fight. I'm going to show you how uh, the Mew uses this hook. Now, that was, a, that was a wider kind of a pulling hook where the jab, he's turning the face. And that's an old school move too. There's a, there's a, now we're going to show you uh, against uh, Guerrero. This was a little while back, but just to show you how he's refined this technique over the over the past few years of throwing that hook. 
Before yeah, a little bit time. before. Yeah. So yeah, this is the Guerrero fight. Um, and Fernando Guerrero, again, another, um, he was a prospect for a while and he's fought some great fighters. Guerrero is rugged. He's a southpaw. So here we go. I'm going to show you now. He's using the same mechanics that he used against Spike when he, when he turns the face and throws the hook. He turns the face intentionally. Now, you could say, okay, did he, did he know the jab was coming? He just turned with it. Some of the old school guys who were really good at doing that, Hector Macho Camacho, where he could stay on the rope like this and turn, Vinny Pazienza, those guys were great at turning their face with the shots. It was a defensive move that they practiced. Now, I don't know that that's what he was exactly uh, trying to do, but I'll tell you this, he knows to squat and turn his head facing the canvas. Now, he's still looking, he's looking out of his peripheral, but understanding boxing he knows that if I throw a shot and the guy's head starts to dip down you follow his head it's just it's tracking it's automatic that's how we're, we're made so your eyes are going to track the head so where the where the head goes the eyes follow even in boxing and anything else that you do that's how it works so here we're going to show you what happened against Guerrero he's a southpaw now here slow-mo perfect shot here again he, he, he moves forward he brings the high guard again Boxer, you know, if a guy brings a high guard, you're going to attack because the high guard means he's in defensive mode. Okay, now watch what happens. He shows the high guard. Just trying to, he's coming forward. Stop. Now, he knows the jab's coming from Guerrero, and this is from the southpaw, uh, southpaw stance. Watch the jab. Stop. Now, the jab is here. It actually falls a little short. He's already in motion. All right, he kind of swats the, the jab away, but he's already. The knee pops up, it's bent up because he's stepping forward and putting the weight now from that 60-40 where you have 60% of your weight on your back leg, 40 on the front. Now he's putting that 60% on the lead leg as he's turning, he, he swats the jab away as he turns his upper body, the, the push off the floor with the ball of his foot and the left hook comes around and watch what happens. Boom! He doesn't even see it coming. And he's actually in the midst of throwing a straight left hand. Again, uh, this is a better view for you to see Lemieux. Again, coming in, the high guard, all right, which he brings up. And Guerrero is set to, she's gonna shoot the jab. And you'll see the same, the same mechanics that we saw with the Spike O'Sullivan, uh, Gary Spike O'Sullivan shot. You're gonna see it here, but a much shorter version of it. So watch, uh, let's do it step by step. He steps forward, now he's starting to put the weight on the lead front foot. Watch what happens, boom! The jab misses, all right? He goes down. Now this is, again, this is in a little bit shorter. Maybe you call this a little sloppier look of the shot, but when it happens in, in real time, it's extremely quick. And again, Guerrero doesn't see this shot coming. So he's a little further out, but Guerrero overcommits anyway when he th tries to shoot the, uh, the straight left hand. And again, the leg, like we told you, pushes onto the front leg puts his weight on the ball of the foot, turns as he twists the upper body like a, like a spinning top. Gets the elastic tension there, and here we go. Boom! Right on the chin. And the, the straight left hand misses him. Short shot, and you'll see it you know, later. This is what finishes Guerrero. Um, I don't know if they're gonna show it again. Uh, just check and see. But yeah, maybe from there they show it again. Yeah, so back out a little bit. We'll show you this again. That's Oh, it's coming up? Okay, here we go. All right, so again, you see he's coming up. He, he's, he's anticipating the jab coming. He's got the high guard. He's going to plant the front foot right there. It's planted. He's on the ball of the foot now. He twists. Yeah, he, and there it is. He twists. The hand comes down, locks in right in here at the lat, and then loops it up. So it just comes up almost like a sweeping hook, but he's doing it from here, turning hips, everything, he gets what we call elastic tension. And elastic tension is simply pull to about the maximum distance that it can go. And the tension is there, and then all the energy that you're pushing up from the floor and your hips just releases it. And that's where you get that kind of a shot. All right, so go ahead. And this was a shorter version. Again, this maybe you think it's a little sloppier version because of how far down he leaned, but the bottom line is the punch landed. and. Uh, it, it was it was a devastating shot. So um, we go back to what we were saying. Uh, boxing is a, is a game of negotiating your space, your distance, um, controlling range, and things like that. So when you see moves like this being executed by you know boxers, especially top level guys, um, and again not knocking the opponents in either of these, Fernando Guerrero, respected 
uh, contender at 54. He's truly a 54 fighter. He went up in weight to 60 to fight a guy who's was knocking everybody out. I mean, Lemieux had like I believe has 34 or 35 knockouts in his 40 uh, wins. So that's a lot of that's a lot of knockouts. So, uh, but going back to that hook, that hook, the way he throws it to me is unique and was unique enough for us to jump on here and kind of break it down for you guys because um, uh, everybody's got their style with the way they throw their hooks and all but the way he steps in turns the face goes through the, all the mechanics that we talked about earlier to land that hook and it lands effectively it's what's helped him to win as many fights as he's won like I said I believe he's 40 40 and 4 with like 34 knockouts, ranked number 6 in the world. So um, much respect to him and of course to the opponents, to Gary O'Sullivan. He's a, he's a champion um, and, a, and an excellent boxer and I'm sure he'll be back uh, stronger when he comes back in uh, uh, to, for his next fight. So uh, respect to him, respect to, Guer to Guerrero. Uh, but again, this show is not to uh, you know, put down, be little, be little, you know, the fighter who lost. What we're doing is we're just trying to show you some unique techniques that some of these uh, top-rated boxers use. Signature moves. Signature right? moves. Signature punches. Exactly. Yeah, so. And um, if you guys want to learn it, if you're curious and you want to learn it, leave a, leave a comment in the um, description or comment comment section. Comment section. Comment in the comment section. There you go. <laughs> uh, if you want to learn it, and then um, if we get enough people that are interested, we'll we'll actually do a, you know a breakdown instructional and show you how to do it. Um, or even little like step. counters, because there's little things that you can probably, you know, counter a shot like that, but you would have to know what to do, you would have to time it, you know. Exactly. Um, but, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, because look, it, everything with boxing is practice, and yeah. learning it the right way first, and then pro practicing it the right way, proper practice, so um, that's what you got to do. And again, this technique may look uh, to, to, to the untrained eye as, oh man, he's just dropping down and turning and swinging the hook to get out of the way of the shot. But, like I said before, to the trained eye, to other fighters, to other trainers, you understand what goes into executing that move in the heat of battle, in the pocket, when punches are coming at you, to be able to have the wherewithal to take that step, step back, set up the shot, and then go through all of the mechanics of the punch and landing it clean in order for you to win a fight. So. Uh, we also want to tell you guys if there's um, what we want to start doing too and going into the new year is some giveaways of uh, you know boxing equipment, training equipment, things like that. So we uh, for, for our sponsors who've already been with us like iBox Customized, Title Boxing, uh, Rival has sponsored uh, some of our things um, some years back and it was great. Um, RDX has done the same. Uh, so any of those guys or any others who want to come on who are interested in maybe sponsoring some giveaways to the boxing fans out there, the boxing community. We're here for you, um, and you know, hopefully, moving forward, we'll be able to get some uh, boxers on here, coaches, maybe do some interviews, uh, so we can record those and premiere it live. Not or premiere it's not yeah, live, but live. premiere yeah. it live on uh, YouTube, so you guys can check it out, so you can get a view from other coaches out there and fighters too. That's true, it. True. I mean, yeah, tune in for next week. We have something coming up uh, next week. We don't know what we're covering, right? We do. Not we have sure. a couple ideas. Um, but again, if you guys have any ideas, let us know. Put in the comment section a um, couple moves that you guys want us to just analyze, break down. Mm -hmm. um, next week, we will be back with another episode. Absolutely. Hope so, you guys hope you guys enjoyed it. It's your man, Coach Rick. Chica, we're out. Peace.